Antibiotic resistance has emerged as one of the most pressing public health concerns of the 21st century. According to the World Health Organization, new antibiotic resistant bacteria are emerging and spreading globally, threatening our ability to treat common infectious diseases and resulting in prolonged illness and death. Antibiotic resistant bacteria, sometimes referred to as superbugs, make surgical operations much riskier and make common infections life threatening leading to higher medical costs, prolonged hospital stays, and increased mortality. Bacteria reproduce and mutate rapidly. A mutation in a single bacterial cell can render it resistant to the antibiotic. Repeated use of antibiotics can lead to the selection and proliferation of bacteria, which are able to survive in the presence of antibiotics. Currently used antibiotic medicines have a limited number of ways that they can battle bacteria. It would be great to have a new antibiotic that works in an entirely new way using a novel mechanism that the bacteria have not seen before. This could lead to a new medicine which the bacteria would find harder to overcome and would be complementary to existing antibiotics. That's why this new discovery is so exciting. Scientists from the labs of Jerry Wright at McMaster University with collaborators at Indiana University and Montreal have found a novel antibiotic mechanism. They analyzed bacterial gene clusters which they hypothesized coded for novel antibiotics. They grew streptomyces strains and from the fermentation broths isolated two chemical compounds, complistatin and cobramycin. The compound on the right, cobramycin, had never been isolated before and its chemical structure had to be deduced. These compounds were found to have bacteriostatic properties, meaning they inhibited the growth and proliferation of bacteria. Furthermore, they found that these compounds were active against bacterial strains that were resistant to other antibiotics, suggesting that they worked through a unique mechanism. To understand how these antibiotics were working, the team used a model bacterial strain, Bacillus subtilis, to study the bacteriostatic mechanism. Normal cells undergo vegetative growth, the formation of divisions called septa, and then fission, forming two daughter cells with regular cigar-shaped structures. After treatment with corbamycin or complostatin, bacillus subtilis form irregularly shaped and twisted cells. They could see that the cells grew and even formed the septa, but the cells would not divide. They instead formed loopy, knotted chains. The scientists noticed that the appearance of these treated cells looked similar to cells with defective peptidoglycan processing. So what is peptidoglycan? Almost all bacteria possess a cell wall composed of peptidoglycan. Let's take a closer look at its structure. Peptidoglycan is a heteropolymer made up of sugar molecules linked together to form glycan chains. The glycan chains are cross-linked with peptide chains. This forms a three-dimensional mesh that surrounds the cell and prevents cell rupturing. The peptidoglycan cell wall is unique to bacteria and is not found in plants or animals. Autolysins are a group of enzymes critical to normal bacterial cell wall growth. They are hydrolytic enzymes. They cleave glycoside and peptide bonds. Autolysins also cleave the cell wall at the division septa, allowing for normal cell division. The research team discovered that their new antibiotics physically bind to peptidoglycan and inhibit autolysin activity. Through a number of well-designed experiments, this team found strong evidence that complostatin and corbamycin inhibited the cell wall remodeling activity of the autolysins, thus preventing the bacteria from growing normally and dividing into daughter cells. Most significantly, these new antibiotics work in a way that is distinct from other antibiotics. Most currently used antibiotics, including the well-known beta-lactam antibiotics, work by inhibiting the synthesis of the peptidoglycan cell wall. In contrast, complostatin and corbamycin inhibit the breakdown of the peptidoglycan cell wall. Because the mechanism of action is different from other antibiotics, they should be complementary in fighting bacterial infections. In fact, it was found that multi drug resistant bacterial strains could be stopped with these newly discovered compounds. It should be emphasized that complostatin and corbamycin are not medicines yet. They have not undergone clinical trials in humans and have not been approved for use in patients. Nevertheless, they represent useful tool compounds that can be used to accelerate the discovery of novel antibiotic medicines that take advantage of a novel and unprecedented mechanism of action. This research has opened the door to find medicines to combat antibiotic-resistant infections. Congratulations to the research team for making a significant contribution to an urgent medical need, and thank you for watching.